everybody jonathan las vegas collectibles happy weekend it's saturday uh, october 15th and of course doing work taking care of the baby wife took over and just helping out around the house so what am i doing i'm watching youtube videos right i'm trying to uh, figure out what's going on in the collectible world the finance world housing market and everything else and <laughs> this dude popped up in my feed again and so i think I've been watching too many of his videos where now he's just like popping up in my feed constantly. So, uh, YouTube algorithm, right? Anyways, he brings up a topic that I don't know if he knows the, the theory behind it and everything. And I hear Alpha Investments, Rudy, he, he plays into this theory as well. And so it made me realize, you know, to me, I'm listening to it. I'm like, well, yeah. And it made me realize, like, a lot of people don't know this, right? Like, don't know about the theory, don't know um, about any of this stuff because they don't teach it in school. You have to actually pursue a degree in the field uh, to get it, right? And so I pursued a degree in supply chain management. And so I went to business school. I went to Syracuse. And uh, I learned about this theory. And, and you, it's a theory like so many others that you see in action every day of your life without without realizing it somebody just put what they see in nature on paper like you know what i mean like uh there's so many things you learn at school where really you're just learning the official name for it but you already know that that's a thing uh you just never put the words to it so the theory is actually called uh, per, Pareto, P-A-R-E-T-O. And I, I have it on another screen. I'll pull it up. But he's talking about right here. Let me see if I can. I'm not good with the sound adjustment things. So uh, let me see if I can. That's on 100. I don't know. Let's see what happens. But let's, he's, he's referencing an article here. And he's talking about, is speculation the same as stocks? But the reality is, is that most of these companies, or a lot of these companies, are somewhat of duds to a certain extent over a long period of time. And this is a retirement fund, but yes, over a long period of time, it's decades. You know, they've been putting money into the S&P 500, for example. But the reality is, is that most of the companies are not going to give amazing returns. There's, there's going to be a handful of winners. Right now, it's so that is actually an economic theory it's a theory about all life it's a it's a theory about nature right um and i don't know if he knows that i, I assume he does and maybe he just didn't want to make reference to it um but maybe he really just doesn't know there's an actual theory about that and so elf investments if you've ever watched his videos uh i would say once a month at least he references that 99 percent of like all Magic the Gathering cards ever made are worthless, right? I've made references to it before in my um, videos about how, you know, you can open up a, a product and 30, if you're lucky to get 30% return on ripping that box open. So if the box costs 100 bucks, you'll be lucky to make 30 bucks out of there. Like that's basically the mentality is like, oh, I better, I better get at least 30 bucks out of this. And the reason being is because 99% of everything in there is going to be garbage. Um, other, other places that you see this in life, just everything that you do. So if you go out to eat at a restaurant, you know how many restaurants there are in like a, in a, in a major city. It's ridiculous. Even in a small town, even in a small town, the ratio applies 80% of every restaurant in your village, city, town, metropolitan area, whatever, 80% of them are not good, but 20% of them are good, right? It doesn't matter if you have 10 restaurants in your town or a million restaurants in your town. The ratio is usually pretty spot on. Uh, it's true with everything and so look around your workplace i i'm willing to wager that 20 percent of your peers put in the best 
possible work. And 80% of your peers suck at their job. I bet you uh, if you're driving to work or driving to the mall, driving wherever you're going, driving to Chick-fil-A, and you just kind of gazed around the other drivers, 80% of them are stupid. <laughs> They're horrible drivers, right? Like, oh, and of course, you have a, a definition of what's a good driver, so you have a perspective. So every single car on that road has a different idea of what's a good driver. And they can definitely <laughs> compare themselves to only about 20% and say, yeah, we're good drivers. The other 80 are horrible. Even in subjective things, the rule applies. 80% of anything sucks <laughs> or, you know or is worthless or whatever so uh sports car dad was his name yeah sports car dad he was referring to the stock market and there was an article that he's referring to on the stock market and he's saying that like really everybody in, uh, invests in index for the most part but only 20 percent he says a handful so i'm putting the word 20 percent in there a handful of companies are the ones that actually keep the index high and keep it growing and so if you're good at analyzing businesses and understanding the, the economies of the world, you just put the money in the 20% that are good and you'll outperform the indexes, basically, right? That's the concept. It's just not easily done, but it's possible. And so he's, he's alluding to this, that 80% of all the companies aren't good, right, for investments. So, I mean, you could do this with anything. Go down your uh, shopping aisle and look at uh, the options of lotions. And I bet you, you, you would assess 80% of them are garbage. Now it's subjective in that moment, you know, but I, I bet you, you can't. So that's a rule, right? That's a natural theory and it's called Pareto principle, okay? The Pareto principle is basically stating 80% of everything is garbage. Um, and you can look into more of this. There's also a theory. Oh, it's the trumpet. Is it the trumpet? Um, actually, I think it's Pareto's trumpet. Simulation, Pareto versus truncated Pareto. What is, there's another theory, guys. It's been a long time since I've been in school. But there is another theory, but basically, um, as time goes on, it, 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 it illustrates how, how important the 20% is of anything. Employees, businesses, shampoos, you know, whatever it is. So I wanted to let you know that this exists please do your own research into it so that way you have this understanding and this knowledge base and then apply it to whatever you're doing. If you're doing comics, if you're doing sports cards, if you're doing Marvel, realize over time this theory proves more and more accurate. 80% of everything that is in the market will be worthless and 20% will be worth something if not a great amount. And that 20% that is worth great, like a great value, 80% of that will do less than the 20% within that. And you could continue to break it down until you reach the top 1%. Just thought you should know that that is a theory that exists and you can apply it to everything that you do. And no, sports cards investing is not like stock card, stock market investing. Take care, everybody.